Remember that scene in Talladega Nights where Ricky Bobby didn't know what to do with his hands? I don't know what to do with my hands either. I'm like overwhelmed with joy. Cause I got a 43X MOS. And I'm excited about it. Word on the street is that it's Glocktober. And as the proud new owner of a Glock 43X MOS, I'm not gonna lie, it feels pretty cool to be a part of this club. And it's not like over the years I was opposed to Glock. I didn't want to be labeled like a bandwagon fan, you know? So I just stuck to what I know until recently. I did like one search of the Glock 43X MOS and then all of a sudden, every day that I logged in, my feed was inundated with videos showcasing this beautiful firearm. And then I bought it, so here we are. I debuted this firearm in the last video that I posted, which you can see here, where I showcased all the new holsters that I got, including this one, which is for the 43X MOS. Uh, but I didn't go into detail. I hadn't even shot it. And actually up until this point, I still have not shot this firearm. I'm planning to go to the range tomorrow. And I didn't do any unboxing or anything. So I figured today's as good a time as any. So let's see what's in the box. It is the 43X MOS edition. Now, one of the things that makes this different than the regular 43X is the fact that it's already cut for sights and you just have to remove this plate here and then it's already ready for a weapon light. So you have this rail on the frame and you are good to go. What else comes in the box? So we got the firearm, we got two 10 round magazines. We also have the lock, we have some cleaning stuff. We got the Allen wrench or the Allen key to allow you to remove that plate. And then of course we got the, the paperwork and the registration. But let's get down to the fun stuff. One of the first things that you should learn to do with any pistol that you purchase is learn how to field strip it. Field stripping is literally just learning how to disassemble it and then reassemble it. You'll want to know how to do that for a number of reasons. Obviously to clean it um, when you are replacing parts or upgrading parts and then just figuring out like any malfunctions that it may have you don't have to be a gunsmith but it's important to know how to take your firearm apart and just learn the basic functions of what it is that you're holding to you know potentially protect your life one day it's super simple and while i'm talking about simplicity outside of not wanting to be a bandwagon fan i think the simplicity of these firearms is kind of what deterred me from them like early on before i have before I matured, you know, in my 2A journey, I wanted the coolest looking gun. I wanted all the little, you know, serrated slides and like just an aggressive looking firearm. And as I've matured, I find myself gravitating towards simplicity. Simplicity in design, simplicity in how it just looks, simplicity in its function. Um, because at the end of the day, you don't want something that has a whole bunch of pops and tricks and buttons and all that before you can get it to work especially if you find yourself in a life or death situation where you just need this to work without all the extra bells and whistles i referred to my firearms as sexy in previous videos and that brought out some of the 2a karens that thought that was weird but i don't care judge a mama i think this is so sexy <laughs> but what's even sexier is how simple it is to break this gun down so what you're going to do Let's pretend like this is just a fully assembled firearm and you are needing to do this for the first time. So what you're going to do is pick this up, make sure it's pointed in a safe direction. You're going to drop the magazine, make sure that there's nothing in the barrel. You're going to pull the trigger, making sure obviously you're still pointed in a safe direction. And now you're ready to go. So you're going to put that nice hook into the, uh, the beaver tail. Then you're going to put your other fingers far enough forward so that you've got a good grip on it because you're going to be pulling the slide back in this direction. You're also simultaneously going to be pulling down on the two takedown levers. So you see one here and you also see one on the other side. So you're going to pull back and pull down. And you don't even have to go that far. Once you hear that little click, you know that you've pulled back far enough. You're going to pull it forward and release the slide off the frame. Next thing you're going to do is pull this recoil spring assembly forward into the muzzle so that that pops right off set that down then depending on how you have the slide in your hand you're going to push up or i guess push down on the barrel so that that just slides and pops out and that my friends is stripping down a glock 43 xmos and it's just as simple to put it back together so you're going to pick up the slide put the barrel back in making sure that this is facing up you're gonna push it forward, then push it down so that it just pops back into place. 
you're going to take the recoil spring assembly, push it into the muzzle, making sure the thicker part is towards the muzzle, push it forward and making sure that that spring is nestled nicely on that second step. I don't know if you can really see that in the video, but when you have it in hand, you'll, you'll be able to know what I'm talking about. Then you flip it over, align the rails, slide it back, pull the trigger, make sure it's functioning properly. You're gonna pull that slide back again, make sure you can pull the trigger. And that, my friends, is how you field strip a Glock 43X MOS. I have quite a few things that I plan to do with this here firearm. I might already have the sight and I might already have the weapon light, but you're gonna have to come back to my channel to get that content. Till next time. Happy Glocktober.